In the 608 this morning, we are focusing on how art is trying to teach us how to protect our lakes, rivers, and streams. Josh Breider in studio this morning with uh, more on the colorful approach. Hey, Josh. Hey, guys. Good morning. We're talking about the Storm Drain Mural Program in partnership with many municipalities here within Dane County this morning. Crystal Campbell is the Stormwater Education Coordinator for Dane County. Crystal, good morning to you. Thanks. You know, you are super excited to be able to showcase the Storm Drain Mural Program because you're bringing a very colorful approach to be able to educate our folks here in Madison area. Right, so most people don't think about where uh, the water that runs off our roofs, off our sidewalks, and our streets ends up, and that water actually ends up in our storm drains uh, and without being cleaned. And storm drains are designed to be invisible, uh, and we're trying to make them visible and um, educate people on the fact that all that storm water that goes down that storm drain and anything it carries with it uh, actually ends up in our lakes, rivers, and streams without being treated. So you're seeing some examples of that right now. And you kind of talked about how, you know, the storm drains are usually invisible. You're adding some pops of color to really educate people all ages, right? Right. So the idea is that um, we work with local groups, uh, a lot of times schools, on these storm drain murals. And uh, we educate them. It's kind of an educational opportunity for, for the groups themselves, but also then to have them educate the community about uh, where our storm water goes and the importance of keeping it clean because it does end up in our lakes, rivers, and streams. It's pretty unique because you're working with those schools. You're also working with local artists. So there's mm -hmm. an application process that you could actually get your art on one of these murals in town. Right. So the application process is fairly simple. Uh, it opens up in December for the following year. So for 2023, it'll we'll have an application available in December of 2022. And uh, you can Either a group can apply uh, to have a storm drain mural painted. Um, you can either select from a catalog of pre-made designs or you can actually participate in the design process. So the groups can um, provide input on the design themselves and then we we give those design ideas to our local artists and they make it happen and come up with a unique design that uh, the kids or groups can actually help paint. So you already have more than 40 of them here mm -hmm. in the area. You guys really hope this grows to even bigger than what it is. We do. I mean, they're all across Dane County. Uh, we have about, I think, 16 in the Madison area and 15 different communities across the county are helping uh, or have already had storm drain murals painted in their communities and we do hope it grows. Uh, we usually have, you know, between five and 10 uh, storm drain murals painted every year. Wonderful. Well, Crystal, thank Thank you so much and we appreciate uh, adding a little colorfulness uh, to here uh, to these storm drains because it's unique approach. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you bet.